Hey there, Commanders! This week's community goal continues research efforts into the Thargoid Titans by way of a commodity goal and a bounty goal. The commodity goal requests indium, gallium, polymers, and ceramic composites, all of which can be sourced from large starports with ample supply reserves in a 50 light year bubble around the RAB system. This means that a fleet carrier is not required as many trade ships are capable of this journey on a single tank of fuel, though with multiple jumps involved. Time and consistent effort are key. Most players will be able to make steady progress. As is usual for these events, all available carrier parking orbits are full, so expect to position fleet carrier assets in nearby systems with at least one jump required to enter the CG location. Given the large supply points available at close distances, fleet carriers are not expected to save that much time compared to local traffic, and are advisable only if you want to hunt greater value at greater distance. Participation at the time of writing is moderate, with Inara estimating 40% completion by the target date. There's no hurry to engage with this event, and no reason to carve out much playtime over the holiday weekend, aside from personal desires. Of the available events this week, the commodity goal is the most time efficient and my recommendation. The bounty goal has some problems, with the most significant being the RAB system does not have a planetary ring system. This means that farming bounty targets at resource extraction sites is not possible. The only way to acquire bounties will be from pirate contracts, signal sources, and other random events, making it difficult to predict progress per unit of time. Frame shift interdictors are highly recommended for this circumstance. Note that the RAB system is also in a war state, and that combat bonds do not count towards the progress of bounty goals. Both community goals provide players the chance to acquire a pulse wave Xeno scanner. This new scanner uses the mechanics found in a pulse wave analyzer to identify points of interest on a Thargoid Titan. Those who make the top 25% participation tier get a free scanner after the goal concludes. Everyone else can acquire the scanner at their own discretion from the tech broker at any rescue megaship. While there is no information on unlock requirements at these brokers, it's reasonable to assume that at least one ingredient will be directly related to the Thargoid Titan. So far, every new module related to the Thargoid War has followed this pattern, so if you choose not to participate in the CG grind, it might be a good idea to harvest some of these materials in preparation for the upcoming new module. Those who plan on participating in the CG need to be willing to commit to it, as the top 25% tier is difficult to attain, even in an average week. Players should plan on about 4 hours of efficient effort, with the possibility of additional efforts towards the end of the cycle to ensure a safe position on the leaderboards. Overall, this goal is only slightly above average, and not something that gets me excited. The module on offer is known to be unlockable afterwards, and will be permanently available. Given the amount of effort required, I doubt that pursuing this module through the CG is more time efficient than unlocking it conventionally. So the only advantage to goal participation is the chance of early acquisition and nothing more. If that possibility appeals to you, then it's a good week to get going. Otherwise, there are likely other better ways to spend your time. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.